to this inner this inner feelings where where you have a innocence you know and for me that's the metaphor here even though you are trying to survive even though you're trying to fight certain class struggle or certain war struggle that maybe is happening uh, you are committed as humans maybe these three humans to a task where you have to recover maybe the innocence maybe to save these emotions that are, that are not measurable you know and for me that's the that's the metaphor or could be the metaphor that they are trying to present and it's quite uh, it's quite common as I say, to tell it by a teddy bear, but uh, it implies also that uh, there are more things. And for me, that's that could be the important message that even uh, there are more things than only survival. When yeah. you are trying to survive, there, there are things that cannot be uh, thought as, for example, I don't know if you guys saw this movie, uh, El Hoyo, in Netflix that was pretty popular in at the beginning of the of the pandemic. The whole it's Spanish. It's called the Never heard about it. it. Really? Yeah. Okay, maybe uh, we have something to do tonight. <laughs> and in yeah. and in English se llama the, the platform. Whole. The platform. Ah yeah i remember now i remember because you know i speak english no now i remember the name the but platform it, it, seeing the name original in, in spanish so el hoyo. El hoyo. ah yeah it's el hoyo. ah yeah sorry but i my config configuration of netflix is in english sorry in in that movie uh, food was pretty important you know and the distribution of goods of uh, measurable goods and for me the key thing of culture and here i'm going pretty far maybe but the key thing of culture is not only survival of not only having the resources of goods to provide yourself the mere, the mere survival of, of biological survival, but there are things that are beyond that and those things are more important. And we have, a, for example, a emotional things, emotional components that are, a, that, that are the things that makes us human. You know, and for me, and different from uh, just a biological existence or a biological machine, and that makes us different from the people that it's vegetable. You know, <laughs> how do you say that? Great uh, example. A, a vegetable. vegetable. Now, the pronunciation vegetable. of that word is really complicated. And actually, that's why I'm a teacher. No, but, but the that's concept. No, but it's vegetable. No, uh, like. The concept of vegetable people, like. I think I think it, it is the actual word. It doesn't, uh, doesn't sound good. Brain dead, brain dead. Brain dead, you know. But uh, what's the difference between Vegetable. brain dead and uh, a human being? And it's yeah. not the food. They're human it's beings not... too. They're human beings too. No, <laughs> brain dead are a, a regular one. A regular one. <laughs> a regular, yeah, yeah. It makes more sense. No, I the... get your point. I was just kidding that you know it's more than eating it's more than just breathing it's more than and for me that's the key point in, in terms of the suicide the suicide of this girl that there are more things for me uh, that's that could be the message that there are things that are not a uh, or human life is not only about survival or biological survival but you have to worry about other things in this case, could be emotional things or connections or relationships with a kid, maybe, or, or kids, you know, it was a box of teddy bears that and maybe uh, there were a lot of kids, you know, I don't know, in the in this place where they were. Maybe it's one back. of the few kids, maybe it's just one and they want that one to survive, maybe. She or wanted least... a lot of a lot of teddy bears. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we gave you all this first so you are happy <laughs> the entire box for you or maybe they just wanted one we don't know uh, but yeah i think i think it has to do with that with 
it always it always have to do with emotions. Fernando, you wanted to say something? I saw you were uh, like it's a little stupid because go ahead. We're all here. <laughs> we're like we're we're all a little stupid here, so don't worry. It's maybe uh teddy bears with drug inside. Ah, oh, there's always <laughs> someone thinking about that stuff. Maybe <laughs> there is no kid and they just wanted to get high and die. <laughs> and and the, the, the woman uh, speaking um, in past, in I don't code. know. In, in code. In code. Maybe they're just talking in code. So the it's, dogs don't find out. It, That's it very is human too. But drugs no. are very human. Ex exploring yeah. the power of your mind is a very human capacity. Bueno, well, sorry. Some animals do it too, but um, like cats eat catnip. Uh, so yeah, but it could be drugs. Could be drugs. <laughs> that would be great. I, it reminded me a little bit of Breaking Bad and maybe that's the connection with drugs. Or maybe someone is thinking too much in drugs. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so any of you has a different um, reflection on this matter or this matters? Who, before we finish the discussion? No? It was just a great pleasure to talk to you as usual. Uh, this episode in particular, for those of you who are like Fernando and Gus, who are, you are newer here, uh, this was a different episode. <laughs> we normally go, we have many questions presented and we discuss and we talk about the threats of technology, but this episode in particular was more uh, open for reflection more than discussion, maybe. I saved myself with that. So uh, I think that this episode can lead to a very deep reflection, maybe, uh, private reflection, because it's open for interpretation. So I will, we will meet next week, same place, same time, for the next episode, which I think is, has nothing to do with this. Uh, we're going to discuss can make, that. Can I make a final question? Yeah, of course. Little... I was asking about that before. So it's, yeah, it's, go ahead. It's only a quick question about the final of the episode because I don't understand when the metal dog used uh, when uh, got shot by the by the wee bomb of the girl. Uh, he make like a final attack. Yes. And, I think and, they were trying and, to show that the dogs still, like they are united too. Like his life purpose uh, yeah. was to so, catch yeah. humans. So his last but movement was... Because I... It was, I, it was I, like I, the tracking device type. That yeah, tracking device for the other dogs. And that's how mm -hmm. they got there. Ah, uh, yeah. That's uh, yeah. right. It was very logical, but not that good. No, don't worry. It's okay. Yeah. Okay, everyone. Great to see you, pleasure to talk to you. And it was a pleasure to have you, Gus. It was, it was a big surprise to see you here. And Fernando, you. please come back anytime you want. Um, I would love to keep you keep seeing you on these meetings. And the usual visitors or attenders, thank you, love you. And have a great Thursday and great weekend. See you, no, it's not Thursday, it's Wednesday. I'm lost. We normally meet on Thursday. So have a great, Wednesday and Thursday and Friday and Saturday and Sunday. See you next Wednesday. <laughs> Take care, yeah. everyone. Be good. Bye, Cax, everyone. Night. Take care. Night. Bye. Good night. Good night.